from our past videos, we know that light follows law of reflection after being incident on a surface. Just like the light waves, sound waves also get reflected from the surface of a solid. They also follow the same law of reflection. Let us see what that law is. Say we have our source which is emitting sound and assume one of the sound waves strikes the surface at this point. Let's draw a normal to this surface. Normal is nothing but the line which is perpendicular to the surface at the point of incidence. Now this wave will be reflected from the surface. The law of reflection tells us that this sound wave will be reflected back in such a way that the angle of incidence I is equal to the angle of reflection R. Also, the incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal will all lie in the same plane. What if a wave is incident perpendicular to the surface? Well, in that case, the reflected sound will travel back in the opposite direction along the same line. Here is one demonstration that you can perform at home to verify these laws. Take two small hollow cylindrical shaped objects which are open from both ends. Two straight hollow pipes would suffice. Place them on the table like this near the wall. We also need to make sure that the table is covered with a white cardboard paper before keeping the pipes on it. Place a running clock near the open end of the pipe facing you. And now keep your ear near the open end of the other pipe. Did you hear the sound of the ticks coming from the pipe? Adjust the pipes a little until the sound is clearer. At one point, it will be very clear. This is an example of reflection of sound. Yes, you are hearing the reflected sound. The sound wave from the clock passes through this pipe and is incident on the wall. It gets reflected and passes through the other pipe and enters your ear. You will notice that these two angles are approximately equal. The angle of incidence will be equal to the angle of reflection if we ignore any human errors. Echo is another example where one is able to hear the reflected sound. What is an echo? The repetition of the same sound again and again is what we call an echo. Where do we hear an echo? Well, we usually hear it in empty spaces bounded by at least one tall surface. For example, when we are inside a large canyon or when we are shouting in a deep empty well from above. If we clap in an open space standing against a tall wall, we will also hear the sound of our clap again and again. Why does it happen? The sound from a clap travels in all the possible directions. When it collides with the obstacle, it gets reflected back. These reflected sound waves then travel towards us and we hear faint repetitions of our clap again and again. But hold on, are there any conditions? Or will we hear an echo in any and every case? Yes, there are a few conditions. The echo depends on the temperature of the surroundings and the distance between you and the point of reflection. Let me give you an example. Assume that the temperature of the surroundings is approximately 22 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, the distance between you and the wall has to be at least 17.2 meters for you to hear an echo. Only if it's equal to or greater than 17.2 point meters, you may hear an echo. Otherwise, you wouldn't. But why did we have this condition? What if the temperature is different? What if the distance is less than 17.2 meters? Are there any other conditions apart from temperature and distance? We will answer these questions in our next video.